And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a mirror landscape effect in Photoshop. Let's open a new image. You will find that via the description link below. Copy it by pressing Ctrl J. And we will work with the copy first. Activate the quick selection tool and make a selection of the landscape. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. If you simply use your mouse and click on the left, you will add parts to the selection. If you want to get rid of parts of your selection, just hold Alt and then use the mouse and left click as well. You can zoom in while holding Alt and using a mouse wheel. And you can move around an image by holding the spacebar. Make sure to put in as much time as needed. Obviously, if you work on a project for a client, you should put in way more time to select all of the details. When you're done, just zoom out a little bit. And then click on layer mask below. If there are parts of the selection missing, like here, just press Ctrl Z to get one step back and add these parts to the selection. Now we'll make the original visible as well. We activate the copy layer and then press Ctrl T to transform it. Hold Shift while rotating it so that it snaps. Then activate the move tool and reposition it slightly. Select both layers by holding Ctrl and clicking on them. Press Ctrl T and now you can resize both of them at the same time. You will have some details to work on. Just activate the layer mask of our copy layer. Activate the brush tool. Make sure your foreground color. Make sure your foreground color is white to reveal and your background color is black to conceal. You can switch between the two by pressing X. Once again, zoom in with your mouse wheel while holding Alt and move around with the spacebar. I'm going to speed this up one more time. So now we're almost done, but we want to add some birds to this composition. That image can be found on Unsplash as well. I'm going to link it below. Let's just call it birds. Activate the magic wand tool and click on the air parts to select it. Then click on layer mask and then press Ctrl I to reverse the selection. And there we have some birds that we can reposition. I'm going to copy this layer one time by pressing Ctrl J. And then I reposition my copy. Press Ctrl T, I'm going to resize it slightly and press Enter. And this is the basic effect. Obviously you need an image that has a very clear skyline to recreate it in a way that I've just shown you. But if you have such an image, the results almost always look good. If you want to, you can use the brush tool and get over the horizon a little bit more to make it look even better. This is the basic effect. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.